Hi, Greg. Hello, Hugh. Tonight's Amy's birthday. Happy birthday, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. Amy looks a lot like my cousin Marilyn Monroe. I think she's prettier than Marilyn Monroe. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So happy birthday, Amy. Amy Amy went out for dinner with her girlfriend. Okay. Amy introduced me to you. Yes, she did. And then you studied my life for a long time. Yeah. And wrote a book about me. And I started editing that history book again. So I might have it in a week or so. And then we'll publish it. How do you like my hat? It's fascinating. It sure looks like another hat that I've seen on uh, a new book out there somewhere. Isn't it's that interesting? That's a year old book. Um, my hat's better. I have a, a gem right here. Yeah. Um, it's interesting that uh, a Kennedy wrote a book after your book was stolen, isn't it? Isn't that weird how they how they put a picture on the cover of that book? With we my, won't even give the title. With my beard and my hat. Looks exactly like you with the same hat or very, very similar. But, I, but I'm not using this on my book cover. Right. Right. I could, but I'm not going to. Right. And they stole, yeah, I wonder why they did that here. They stole your book at the post office in front of my house. It was on that computer you sent to me. Mm -hmm. It got all the way to the front of my doorstep, and then they stole it. And it had my book on it. And the very same week, my flash drive here disappeared. Just yeah, vanished. They stole your, your USB drive with your copy. Yeah, had another copy on there. And then they Fortunately, started, they weren't the only copies. And then they started changing the news to hide me and my book again. Didn't they? And then just like you've been making these videos wearing that same hat all this time, they make a book that the, the intro to the book sounds like it could be an introduction to, to your life. I mean, it just it, it sounds exactly like it's what I would write yeah. uh, in your book. And just all of a sudden, they rush this into production, and I, I there it find, is. I find it real interesting. It's supposedly written by a Kennedy they buried. Yeah. <laughs> and he calls his own mother mafia in the book. It's such nonsense. <laughs> yeah, so his own mother doesn't realize that it was really him in the casket. Yeah. Then, sure, yeah. she did it. I had an interview with a guy that said he was CIA, but his family actually ran the FBI. I find that interesting also. Right. Absolutely. See, I wonder how they uh, I don't, decided I, to steal this. I don't need to name names. And then when I said yeah. it in our last video, he took my video down. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and you believe he's the person responsible for making QAnon, right? He's the person who created it. That's what he told me. That's amazing, yeah. Well, I made QAnon back in the 60s. Explain that, Hugh. That's Nobody well, will people, know what you're talking about. People that put the Qbert game out, and I own stock in that company, um, they put the Cubert games in all the bars that I performed in. Mm -hmm. And that was the Campbell family. And uh, that family still lives next door to me. And the Campbell family, uh, Judge Campbell uh, gave me custody of uh, one of my kids when I divorced my uh, first or second wife, I don't know. So I have a long history with the family that put the Cubert games in uh, all the lounges all over America, mm -hmm. all over the world, really. And then Bill Gates is my family, and my father-in-law at that time was Joe Jacobs, and he gave Gates the software to make his first computer. As Cook and Perry, 
uh, and their cousin all tried to have sex with me while I was married to Nancy, whose father was. Uh, but I, I get through the computer. Detroit. Yeah, all the electronics and computer training that you you know you have and your family has. That I taught, I taught electronics. My and you taught electronics. My that ties the world phones. Right. If you remember the the woman in the, the silent films with the phone, the cell phone talking on it. Yeah. That was my aunt Gardner. Yeah, and you say they really had that uh, technology even back in the I don't know twenties or thirties or whatever at what picture was. They give the public technology that's fifty years old. They've always done that. They had TVs for fifty years in the Navy before they gave it to you. And then yeah. My, then my family was Admiral Byrd in the Navy, and the Navy funded the CIA. And they run the CIA through special forces, and they didn't kill Kennedy. Right, but I I can see how that would connect QAnon with Qbert, and with uh Q, Q on Star and Trek. Star Trek. Our Bennett showed up in my life as they killed John Benet Ramsey, and Benet is Bennett, and uh, the Bennett family showed up and gave the world. Uh, Hugh of Borg, and my family owns Borg Warner. Right. And then you got Q. Right. <laughs> Campbell put all the q games in into lounges all over the globe. And right. I, I own the stock in the company. And so they made you anonymous and created Q Anon. Right, right. Well, they make a book now about that looks After just like that, you in the same hat. <laughs> they waited. They waited and stole your book on, on on a computer and two thumb drives, and then they started changing all the news to make it look like what I'm saying is a lie and <laughs> it's not. It's, it's unreal. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's real apparent to you and me, but it won't be to everybody else. Right. So no, anyways, uh, supposedly the mafia stole John John's life. Uh, that means his own mother was the mafia because she buried a kid that wasn't hers. That's some pretty hefty implications there, isn't it? Uh, that's the only thing I can see from the title. <laughs> and and I'm sure other people looked inside that casket. Yeah, she didn't she didn't know her own son. Right. I mean, it's not like uh, Osama bin Laden that nobody ever saw the body. <laughs> Everybody saw this one. <laughs> and then I have a I made an album cover and I wore a t-shirt that said for JJ Mirror. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't talking about John John. I was talking about Janet Barclay because I just wrote a song about Janet Barclay called Jan Jan. JJ. Right. So he mirrors me on his book with a hat and he cuts his beard like I do. Uh-huh. And we've been making videos like this for I don't know how many years, three or four. Just 2017 for like six years we've been making videos yeah. here and there yeah so they they and i always wear this hat <laughs> <laughs> so he puts out a book same hat and everything it's a very very similar yeah uh and, and then he's he's mirroring my life yeah after, after somebody in the government stole your book twice three times they stole it who was on the cover of that book though it disappeared off your father's computer too, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. So they you can, actually, you can even read it. They actually sold, stole four copies of your book, and mm -hmm. the post office stole one of them. And my family appointed the first postmaster general, Mister Blair. <laughs> who who was, who was on the cover of that book, Hugh, that we were talking about that that looked like you? Who was that supposed to be? Oh, that's supposed to be John John Kennedy. Okay, so that, yeah, so that's, I wonder who manipulated it, that image. He even wrote it and said he's John F. Kennedy. <laughs> and he calls his mother Mafia. <laughs> and she didn't know, she didn't bury her own son. <laughs> and people from all over, the, all, all over the world came to that funeral. I was, right. I was alive then. Uh -huh. And uh, 
Sirhan Sirhan didn't kill his father. No. Uh, I was I was uh, kidnapped with Camille Sirhan, and so was my twin by pedophiles when we were four years old. Was Camille Sirhan, was her name Sirhan before or after she got married? I was always confused about after that. She married She married so, my cousin, who's, who was born on July 4th like me. She probably thought my cousin was me because we both had birthdays on July 4th. That's interesting. Yeah, and she knew you from, from kindergarten. Right. So she marries your cousin, and that same day that she gets married, uh, becomes Sirhan, Sirhan, Sirhan. Sirhan supposedly kills for killing yeah. his own cousin Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then he, he's and then in, he's still in jail. And you yeah. even wrote you even wrote um and then we wrote letters asking him about who is who's Camille Sirhan. What do you know? You know, to 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 uh RFK Jr. The there and to, didn't give you a reply, did they? Yeah, and to Sirhan Sirhan. No, nobody replied, but right after that, then they you, they you have wrote, a meeting. And now he's running for president to help uh, Trump get who, elected. Who is? Who is? <laughs> who is? Uh, RFK Jr. there. Uh, Kennedy's son. Uh, nephew. And and you wrote him a letter too, right? The same letter I sent to Sirhan Sirhan. And man. he's a member of QAnon. Yeah, and then I, they have a meeting. I, and... own, I own the stock in Q, Q-Bert Games since the 1960s. Probably the nineteen fifties. My my grandfather left it for me. I mean it's amazing that, that even after all this time that you're you're able to to just you know, because you can't change it and you can't fix it, that even despite all the tragedy, you're still able to to look back at kind of laugh at what they do because I mean they're powerful forces doing this. What am I supposed to do? I mean Yeah, exactly. So I, but it amazes me that you're still able to to do that. A lot of people would be broken of, down. And... My family made America. My family made Hollywood. They're mm -hmm. still they're still selling my family's properties in Hollywood, and a gay man is assessing the taxes to my dead family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I went to school with the dead man doing that. His name is Prang. He's the tax assessor in Hollywood. Yeah. Okay. I went to school with Gary Prime. So um, and, and, they knew and your family today, and knew. The day before we made this movie, I, I looked at the Greenville Sun post on Facebook. And uh, Ballard and Parker just put up a, a thing thanking all the veterans for 9-11. And 9-11, you know, as well as I do, it was a con. Right. They, they hid the theft of my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they had the theft and the murder of Kennedy and Hoffa with 9-11. Yeah. And that's, yeah. all, that's all that war that war was about. And Muslims didn't blow up the towers. And then they, they, they said the five billion in gold bullion was found in Canada. That that implicates London, England, the throne. And mm -hmm. Giuliani was a knight of the queen. And she was married to Hitler's SS guard, and then Bush was a Nazi. I mean, yeah, put all this together, it's real, real clear. All it? these things fit together so perfectly, and, and people call me a liar. And my family made America, mm -hmm. and you know this. Mm -hmm. Cook and Perry, who run the museum where you were a tour guide. They try to say that my children are their children, and they're not. Yeah, and they, you know, and through guys through under, under tombstones, they name my children as their children. Hugh, they, they sent they sent a lawyer to tell me that I couldn't talk tell your story in their museum. Isn't that <laughs> unbelievable? Yeah, and then Baker is my family, and Baker and Cook and Perry run the museum, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. And I don't exist, but. Judith Baker's family worked with my family at Chrysler in Detroit, and I lived next door to Lee Iacocca. And his son-in-law stole my trademark with Fletcher Neville, President Kennedy's press secretary in the White House. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, it's just unbelievable how they hide me everywhere. Oh, I don't even think I ever told you this, Hugh, but they actually told me this. Th they made a point of saying uh, us uh, not letting you be a tour guide here. That's not a conspiracy, by the way. They made a point of saying that. <laughs> oh, it's a big conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> when um, it's this obvious, right? Cook and Terry, uh, <laughs> my brother-in-law, he, he, he was a DI at Fort Knox, and Cook married him, and then immediately an hour later came to me for sex, and that's the family that married me. West House is Cook and Perry's cousins, mm -hmm. and her mother is Florence from Italy, and her father buried Jimmy Hoffa. He was a state policeman. Yeah, and Cook and Perry's on the board of the but museum. A, but it's not a conspiracy. Right, right, right. And Baker's name is all over the museum. And Cook yeah. and Perry and West House mother. I was 16 years old. She was 55 or something. Mm -hmm. Tried to have sex with me. As Cook married my, my brother, who was a GI at Fort Knox during the Vietnam War. And then... then they die and they say my children are their children and they're not. Uh, Nancy, whose father was Joe Jacobs of IBM, um, she's the mother and her last name isn't Cook. So they stole your whole history, stole your country, uh, stole our book and rewrote it with a picture of you, <laughs> but, uh, but not you, but it looks like you, you know. I, I mean, but none of this is conspiracy. Yeah. They did. The FBI funded all my schools. Who yeah. funded my elementary school where I was kidnapped by pedophiles? Osborne, who runs the sex crime division right now in California. My trademark bottom line was stolen by the entire California lawyers bar 55 years ago, as the WWF and DuPont and Milky the Clown stole it. And yeah, DuPont knew me because he painted the cars and trucks my family owned the patents for. So the words stolen identity apply very much to your life, but yeah, not, not my life is stolen, but not. And we've seen it personally, like we're talking about, but it doesn't apply to who the books. And said. You've seen all the federal documents. I, I even have an IRS license from the 60s with bottom line publishing on it. To Huey Squire, and you've mm -hmm. seen all the documents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the senators were would like write letters to me. The entire House of Representatives wrote letters to Huey Squire. Bottom line, publishing. Well, that, JFK wrote letters to you when you were nine and ten years old. Osborne at the FBI stole those. Mm -hmm. The Tennessee Valley Authority hired them to run the park I moved to in Tennessee. Yeah, you were temporarily living in a little uh, camper park or whatever you call it. So the the FBI comes and takes the whole thing over. <laughs> the Tennessee Valley Authority hired the very people who kidnapped me with Camille Sirhan and my twin, murdered my twin. And takes over the RV park completely. And they, they give it to the pedophiles that kidnapped me and murdered my twin. Broke into your camper and stole your Kennedy letters. Right, exactly. And I reported it to the police and they said, oh, they were just looking for money. And that's not what they were looking for. Right. And his, and his wife starts making passes at you trying to sleep with you at the same time. Yeah, it's unbelievable yeah. what these people do. And she was married to uh, the Metcalf family. Yeah. And 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 somebody named Cotton was was mixed in that group too. Like oh, that, that was uh, Jane Osborne married uh, Senator Cotton's family, so they all flew down from Alaska. Told me I needed to be saved, and I'd already been baptized in five churches. I mm. owned the ministry, but I needed to be saved. Yeah. After they murdered my twin and, and kidnapped me and raped me at four. Right. Right, right, right. I was the one that needed to be saved. Mm -hmm. It's real funny. And a lot of this, like this didn't occur to you at the time, what was going on. Like you didn't realize oh, that did Osborne was the me. same Osborne. It did occur to me. It did? Okay. Yes. But it, it wasn't, they weren't the people that kidnapped and raped me. They were the same family. Okay. But their name, it did dawn on you even at the time then. 
hey, this could be the same Osborne family or there's relatives or something. There's no doubt it was the same Osborne family. Right, right. That's why right. they came down from Alaska and they had a ministry and they told me I needed to be saved. That's the same thing Father O'Donnell told me at my church, St. Mary Magdalene's. When I told them Osborne and Andrews and Anderson and Wallace and Long were raping me, at the media, that's got an O'Donnell on just about every single, uh, you know, uh, network, and uh, giving us the news. That was my best friend, uh, um, Don Duell and O'Don L. I don't know Don. he lied to me i moved my wife to tennessee because he lied to me and told me he was living in tennessee and he wasn't he was living in rockford michigan so that good friend o'donnell like father manning on a Civil War rant owned by Manning, and Manning co-created the JFK archives, and that's where they murdered three of my wives. All because Don Duell lied to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I unfriended him on Facebook. And uh, I, I know that he and everybody on Hoover Street, where I grew up, they all love Osborne because Osborne runs the news with Senator Graham in Michigan, and they hid my kidnap and my twins murder. Mm -hmm. And they've never solved the Oakland County child killings. And Osborne and Hall and Anderson and Wallace and Long were killing the kids. And I don't think this. I know this. Mm -hmm. And when I went to Elbrooks Patterson State to Try and talk to Elbrooks Patterson. They murdered five more of my kids in two states. They murdered them in Indiana, where I was staying, and that's uh, Buttigieg, the gay. Uh, who, what is he? A mayor or a governor or a senator? Yeah, he was a uh, mayor in South. You know, uh, Pete Buttigieg, Peter Buttigieg in oh, South well, Bend, I, N. Yeah, well, I was staying right there in in indiana and they murdered two kids from my family as i sat in albrooks patterson's office and they murdered three kids from my family in michigan all on the same day at the same time while you were traveling and now they made him the transportation secretary it's real obvious what yeah, they did yeah and obama and garrett and walters walters was my wife's advocate and walters had asked me to burn down her properties like walters college and their house and I told them, no, I'm not an arsonist. They offered me 10 grand every time I started a fire. I told them, no. And I told my neighbor Anderson he did that. And then Mr. and Mrs. Anderson were dead in a week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and he told, he told me he talked to Bobby Walters about that. Then Walters was my wife's advocate in Johnson City, where they murdered her a second time. I found her murdered and revived her. And a bike club killed her the first time. They built a, a clubhouse at the end of my street, and they were renegades and outlaws. Mm -hmm. And the renegades and outlaws followed me from Michigan and opened a, 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 a motorcycle club at the end of the street I lived on, where I owned the Civil War ranch from Manning. You're going to confuse people by saying killed her the first time. What do you mean by that? I well, know what you mean. I but... found her murdered in her bedroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, a guy named Shovel, Slater in Michigan, let him out of jail. And he came and built the clubhouse at the end of my street and murdered her. He was but when you when you found her, though, she was still, you know, just barely alive. And you a, gave a her shovel around the brick on my home every night at three in the morning. I called the police and the police tried to tell me it was my aluminum gutters doing it. And aluminum doesn't sound like a shovel. Right. But then one day they opened the window and they put a, a hose in and gassed her. Then you found I, her. I found her and gave her CPR, got her to a hospital, and then they murdered her 35 days later.
Yeah. On Halloween. And you, you hey. weren't even there, so there's no way they can say you did that. Well, no, everybody tells me I murdered my wives, but I didn't. Right. Right. But you, I mean, you weren't even there. I found two of them dead and gave them CPR and got them in the hospitals. They were murdered two times. They were murdered in the hospital. Yeah. So I revived them. Yeah. And I yeah. wasn't, uh, when Terry was murdered the second time, I wasn't allowed in the hospital. When Vicky was murdered, I was 100 miles away. And, and her advocate, Mrs. Walters, the phone was used and they laughed at me as they cut her ears off. And the police in Greenville, Tennessee, in Green County, Tennessee, didn't file a murder charge. They told me it's not their fault the federal government is corrupt. And they didn't file. But it is his responsibility to fight any corrupt fight any official. Corrupt, but he didn't. Right. And then they gave me the Holt family, which is Sonny and Cher's mother, to investigate Victoria's murder. And then they Holt, H O L T, another another media guy. And then guy. they pulled then they pulled her off the case, never filed a murder charge. So I went to Johnson City where she was murdered the second time. And I made them open a murder case. And on the same day they slit her throat. They murdered my attorney, and he was on his way to the DA's office to file murder charges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they've murdered two judges in my murder cases. They've murdered three attorneys, two doctors, and none of this is in the news. And the green four, four wives and fiancés on holidays, at least five they kids. They all dismembered and murdered on holidays. Mm-hmm. And not five kids, dozens of kids. All the Oakland County child kids were, were kidnapped off of my family's properties. Yeah, well, I just mean your wife's kids, but yeah, all those Oakland County the kids Duncan too. Kids. Dun Mr. Duncan was my good friend all my life. My father and Mr. Duncan shot a bear on the back of his my father's sister's farm in New Haven, Michigan. Mm -hmm. They didn't know it had cubs. Uh, they kept the cubs. When they found the cubs the next day, they kept them, and they kept them in a cage behind Duncan's restaurant and bar in New Haven, Michigan. My father helped Mr. Duncan capture that bear. And it lived until all the people going to the bar fed it so much alcohol, it died of sclerosis of the liver at about 30 years old. Um. They murdered the Duncan kids with arsenic. And then they gave the FBI get made it mandatory that all the public schools give you arsenic and old lace from Agatha Christie. And Agatha Christie is the Miller family. And the Miller family worked for me with Tony Toko. And Miller and Toko wrote books and said they murdered Hoffa when it was my wife's family that murdered Hoffa. Mm-hmm. And I don't think these things. I lived these things. Mm -hmm. And and I made other videos with the Indian family I live with. And, and they, they are witnesses to when I call the FBI about murdered kids carried across state lines. They hang up on me. And they act like I'm crazy. And you, How long have you known me, Greg? Well, seven years now. Am I crazy? You're not crazy. Everything you, all these amazing details that you say in your head, you re, you sit, you recite them all the same way every time. Well, I'm not crazy. If you were, if you were lying, you'd be forgetting things and trying I'm to not, cover your tracks and all crazy. this. And, right. Anderson kidnapped me at four and murdered my twin. Cooper kidnapped my daughter at seven off her school bus with a Kennedy girl. Raped her. Had kids with her. I don't believe in abortion. All my grandkids are now named Cooper. You have a mini Cooper from London, mm -hmm. England, and you have Anderson Cooper 360 on CNN, and Nancy is my daughter's mother. These are not coincidences. And then Wallace, yeah. Wallace is one of my rapists. And all of my rapists run TV news. Yeah. Or they have some role to play like Walters and Holt. And they've hired, they, they've hidden me in all news for 70 years.
And my mother's great grandmother was Lincoln's guest in Ford Theater, and my family ran Henry Ford's mansion in Dearborn. Yeah, gee, it's almost like your identity was stolen or something. And then at 14, I was teaching electronics and Warren Consolidated mm -hmm. as Kennedy was murdered. Mm -hmm. And I was kidnapped 11 years prior with the Sirhan family, and they murdered my twin. And all of this has been covered up by Al Brooks Patterson and Senator Graham's family, who owns all the media in Detroit. When I stopped the illegal gun and drug trade on the Utica farm, I bought from Trump's, Trump's tax attorney, Mazar, in 79. I stopped it. They put me in jail for a year. And they made movie stars out of all the drug dealers. And the FBI did this. It was a Senate and presidential run gun and drug trade. They were selling mm -hmm. illegal guns to Mexican cartels and taking guns in return and right. selling it at the auto plants in Utica, Michigan, like the paint plant at Ford's, General Motors at the tech center. They, they, they were selling the drugs on good humor trucks at lunchtime to all the union workers. And I stopped that thinking it was just a local gun trade Mm -hmm. or a local drug trade in Utica, mm -hmm. Michigan. And mm -hmm. it turned out to be the Senate gun and drug trade. And then they and hit. The way, how did you figure, I mean, I know. They murdered, you... they murdered my uncle Frank that day. And he died of liver cancer. Cancer, And then they gave you old liver north. Okay. I get that. Yeah. But how did how did you get that it was Frank, CIA my that was running? Frank was with Patton in World War II for over six years in tanks. So on the day I stopped that illegal gun and drug trade, they murdered my uncle Frank and gave the world Oliver North. Okay. And all of this is true. And this is how they hide me. Then then one of the people buying drugs off the farm was uh, Tim McVeigh and Nichols. There you go. That's what's getting. And Nichols at. and Tim McVeigh lived next door to me my whole life. Right. Nichols married Chapman, and Chapman murdered John Lennon at the Dakota. Mm -hmm. And I live with Dakota Indians right now. Right. They gave me a place to stay after my third wife was married, and then they murdered a fourth wife after I got here. And all of this is true. So after all this stuff with Osborne and everything, what do you think about uh, uh, the president's campaign being run by Osborne now? He's another Nazi. I already know he borrowed money from my family. Banks never paid a penny back. Mm -hmm. My family told him, no, we won't lend you money. He needed money to run to be president. He got mm -hmm. it from West Berlin, Deutsche Bank. Yeah, I think you're right the first time. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's because he's German. Right. And he's a Nazi. He's just like George Bush. George Bush, he employed the entire town of Greenville, Tennessee, and in Greene County, making Hitler's uniforms and parachutes. And he also sold Hitler arsenic and cyanide and then he tried to blame Saddam Hussein for having cyanide he sold to him and Saddam Hussein told the UN the truth he destroyed it all they never found any he destroyed right. it all right and he bought it from George Bush George Bush is a Nazi who made Hitler's uniforms and, and all, that's why that's why they had his car American, all of my American neighbors elected him president. Why? That's why they had Hitler's car down there. That's why uh, right. Dr. Oz went and got his picture taken in front of that car. Because he's owns Hitler's car. Oz and Osborne. I mean, how he obvious owns is that? Hitler's car. Austin. 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 Uh, and, uh, uh, the drunk I think Austin, he still does, maybe. The drunk Austin, who always come out saying, and that's the bottom line, stealing uh, the trademark, as they stole the WWF trademark. Unbelievable. It, it, it's right out in the public's eye, and everybody tells me I murdered my wife. It's almost like somebody stole your identity. Oh, they did. 
all over the globe. In every, unbelievable. In every country on earth. You got Billy Squire from Queen came from Germany. Huey, Huey Lewis came from France. And France and Germany, that was Hitler. They're Nazis. They're all gays. Mm -hmm. The same gays that kidnapped me at four murdered my wives with bikers and state police. And so, so when uh, Putin comes out and says he wants to stop Nazis in Ukraine and America, he's telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, he is. And I'm George Washington's family, and I don't care what anybody they can take me to court. I'm Fuller, Putnam, and Gardner. Right. I'm in the cemetery where you were a tour guide, aren't I? Right. Yeah. Right. My family's from the original colony. Mm -hmm. uh, President Jackson is my family. Mm -hmm. My aunt Gardner used to run around with Mr. Chase, and they would pay cash for Cadillacs at dealerships when I was a little kid. Can you imagine walking into a Cadillac dealership and, and paying cash for a Cadillac? Wow. And they were doing this in the 50s. I worry about that. So the, the day that that lawyer told me that, I don't know, can I get this in front of me? This book right here, okay? The the guy who uh, helped him write it uh, gave a speech just right down the road from the, uh, from the museum. And a uh, very famous book and a very famous person. And his name was Hill. And I asked him after it was over, you're allowed but to come up and Hill ask questions. Family, listen to me. The Hill family put me on the radio when I got here to California before they murdered my fourth wife. Mm -hmm. And I was on the radio five minutes and they pulled me off and they told me I was repeating myself and I wasn't. Exactly. And the Hill family are cousins to the Kennedys. Right. And that's why they were. My daughter was kidnapped with the Hill family. Right. So I had just listened to this guy like the day in, before. That was in 1979. Mm -hmm. And now they stole your book and they, it took you seven years to write. And you have a a Kennedy saying, who, who wears my hat. And yeah. He's his beard just like me. And the day after I listened to Hill. They, the they sent a lawyer to tell me I can't tell your story. The told his lies. No. Mm -hmm. This is all mm -hmm. lies, and it's all coming from the FBI. The FBI murdered Kennedy. Yeah. And I don't right. think this, I know this. Marilyn Monroe, her real name was Baker. Just like Judith Baker. Same family. Married into my family. Baker was Gardner's mother. And you know this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hoover hired Marilyn Monroe to spy on Bobby and John F. Kennedy. Now, why would the CIA kill Kennedy if Hoover was spying on him? with the Baker family? Right. And, and the FBI had had a beef with the Kennedy family since Prohibition. And this is why they're hiding me. And then Hoff was buried under my horse under G&G &G Auto in New Haven, Michigan. G&G &G Auto used to be Madonna, the Locrecchio family. I went to kindergarten with Locrecchio. They gave you Madonna all over the globe. And so now, when... Now, when they uh... you, now they give you Lady Gaga. That's G&G uh -huh. &G. uh -huh. uh -huh. Auto. Gaga. Where they buried Hoffa, yeah. Locrecchio come out to my house. I had Marie from Graceland living at my house for eight months after uh, Victoria's murder. She came and lived with me. She told me she wanted to marry me, but I told her I'm not going to marry anybody anymore. She lived there for eight months. I gave her a computer. She she met a uh, a guy named Joey the drummer in California. She wanted to go marry him. So I bought her an airplane ticket, and I had two policemen put her on a bus. Mm -hmm. Locrecchio come out and lived with me, and she had her family from 17 states say I murdered Marie. 
and the police themselves put her on a bus to, All a, right. to an airport. So they SWAT team my house, and then they check on Marie and realize they put her on the bus. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then they, they told me I couldn't have any girlfriends anymore. <laughs> That's unreal. That's what the police told me after, uh -huh. after the Locrecio family lied to them about Marie. So that says that tells me that Madonna's people are FBI connected, also. So I didn't have any, I didn't have any more girlfriends, and I still don't date. Right, right. I live alone. So when Kennedy said that he wanted to end uh, secret societies, he wasn't talking about the Freemasons or the Illuminati. He wasn't even talking about the CIA. He was talking about the FBI. Yeah, he was going to get rid of Hoover. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, Webster. yeah. Webster funded my school, and then Webster put my stolen trademark in his, in his dictionary as it was stolen. And I had hired Weiner and Associates, Clinton's buddies. And then Weiner was showing his uh, mail. His pencil. Weiner. He was showing his Weiner. <laughs> Yeah, to little kids <laughs> on on online in New York, mm -hmm. right? And went to jail. Remember? Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Well, he took my three hundred and fifty bucks in nineteen sixty five and didn't protect my trademark. I was across the street playing with, get this, the Towers family who took my baby pictures. I was playing drums for Towers in a lounge across the street for a wedding. Wasn't it also at Premier Networks? Wasn't that the, before it was Premier Networks? Was it the same place? Well, no, no. That, no? Was, okay. that was a different town. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you were, you were much younger. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Uh, yeah. That was the high school band. Towers, the same family that took my baby pictures on 9 11 1953 and uh -huh. popped my father's hands off and then the twin towers were built on pratt street in new york and there were twin towers in california at that time too and none of you know that interesting and they they stole my trademark the entire lawyers bar in california stole my trademark the twin, making... towers, the twin Towers in California are, are gone. They built the Twin Towers in New York, and they killed Kennedy. That's a trademark, which was the Twin Towers of that time. And then they used your trademark to make the bottom line bar exam, and especially in California. And then you have Campbell and Harris all, all... studying out of the stolen trademark. You... Yeah, and her Still husband, in your name or stolen her identity. Her is an entertainment lawyer just like obama and michelle were entertainment lawyers mm -hmm. and they london and israel in america stole my trademark which was a three trillion dollar theft it was all of ascap contracts and uh, bmi i yeah. was ascap publisher with a federal license from foley federal court then they told you foley was beheaded mm -hmm. Um, and making fun of me as they stole my trademark and blew up the towers. And I had a civil rights case against the family that built the uh, uh, Pentagon because they helped steal my trademark with DuPont. Yeah, they just eliminated it, 9-11. Cover that up forever. The judge in Michigan, in Troy, Troy, Michigan, Oakland County, where they had all the Oakland County kids, he let a biker named Shovel out of jail and Shovel came and murdered Victoria. And Terry had been murdered seven years prior by two policemen who kidnapped her out of her CPS Head Start office in Wisconsin, Menominee, Wisconsin. They drove her illegally across five state lines. She called me and asked me for help. I bought her the Civil War ranch. 
And then they followed her there and murdered her on the Civil War ranch. Wow, what a life, you! You've had my an interesting life. life. Like, my whole life is like this. My my rapists were Daryl Hall. He gave you Joe Walsh and the Eagles. And then they want me to to uh, salute all the the military people that went to war against innocent people. I don't. Right. Well, and John. John Walsh now is on TV, uh, you know, trying to find missing people. That's amazing. He's always been on TV for mm -hmm. 50 years. Mm -hmm. And But why doesn't he ever talk to me? Why didn't Jesse Ventura ever talk to me? I'm the truth of Kennedy's murder. I'm the truth of Hoffa's disappearance. But he never talked to me as he used my stolen trademark. This is all, all... It's all a con. With all the wrestlers out there doing bottom line uh, well, you events. Had Tri you had Triple H as I married Victoria, my, my third wife. Triple H. My third wife, Victoria. Mm -hmm. They murdered her on the Manning Ranch after they murdered Terry on the Manning Ranch. Mm. Now, Triple H. DuPont and McMahon stole my trademark. That's Bob why Trump. that's why Trump went to the WWE as a res wrestled Stern, McMahon before Stern uh gave before you run for president. Squire, Stern gave you Billy Squire and Huey Lewis, one from Germany and one from France, as they stole my trademark bottom line. And they did all this back in the sixties. Yeah, but think about how think about how Trump has to obviously know all this because he, he goes and he wrestles he McMahon. Of course, it now does. has you know that's still in your trademark, and then so, he, the well, hold on, let me say it all, and then and then he you know uh and then uh, so they're going to the WWE with the bottom line events. He goes and wrestles McMahon, and then chooses Osborne for his campaign manager. I mean, how obvious is that that he Not knows exactly Osborne, what's going on? He appointed Barr. Barr was my next door neighbor. You're right, Oklahoma right, County, Michigan. And not just Barr and Osborne, Stone. Stone illegally cut the bone out of my foot as torture on the day Kennedy was murdered. And Barr brought the Epsteins here, and Epstein probably Stone gave us Melania. Stone was supposed to go to jail for 30 years. He didn't. And then when I go to the police in Oakland and Macomb County, all my murder reports are missing. If I go to the hospitals, they're all gone. And it's illegal for them to disappear murder reports. You understand that? It's illegal. Yeah, yeah. All your personal information from the hospitals has been just disappeared. Yeah, all of it. Mm -hmm. All of it. And then Obama's government moved me here, retired me and told me I was crazy. And you know yourself I'm not crazy. I know that, but explain what you mean by he called you crazy. Explain that. Well, they, they gave me a doctor to go to, and the doctor, when I told him that my family was with Jimmy Hoffa as he disappeared from the Red Fox, he wrote on my psychological report that I'm delusional. And it's true. Unbelievable. Louise Lawrence Westhouse was in the Sly Fox with James Hoffa. Four hours later, 12 FBI agents arrested me in my driveway in Troy, Michigan, because Whitey sold me a car that broke down on my way from his house. Hmm. So the FBI told me I buried Hoffa in, in that car. And they detained me in front of the whole neighborhood. No news about this anywhere. Not in any book. No, they've covered all this up. Because yeah, that was the whole Graham point of nine eleven. Graham right. Media runs the media in Detroit with Barr. With Barr. With my neighbor Barr, and Barr was Attorney General, and Trump appointed him. I Barr up, brought us Epstein. I grew up with the Garland family too. Biden gave you Garland, and then he's stealing my name, Harris. Part of that Wizard of Oz. There's no so. Africans in my family. None. My right. mother's only brother was murdered at 12. There's no Harrises in her family who are from Africa. None. Zero. Zilch. 
Makes you the last one, doesn't it? I'm not Harris. No, you're not Harris, but it makes I'm, you. I'm Squire. I'm not. Right. But you'd be basically the last male descendant. My mother was the last Harris. Right. Right, right. And none of her family were married to black people. None of them. All right. Go shift focus for a second. How did Russia suddenly become an enemy of the United States? And try not to go on too many rabbit trails so that people understand. How did Russia suddenly become an enemy after World War II? Well, after well, being an ally and my, defeating My him? family's steam thrashers and Massey Ferguson. My fa my family owned Massey Ferguson and and uh, the, the steam the first steam thrashers back in the eighteen hundreds. All right. That was my family's patents. They were in the Smithsonian. Okay. They put They put Judy Garland's shoes, the Wizard of Oz, on the other side of the steam thrashers. The Smithsonian did this. Mm -hmm. Then Khrushchev went into the U.S. The government was lying about who killed Kennedy. He knew that. That's why he was banging his shoes. Because they were on either side of my family's tractors in the Smithsonian. And then they tried to tell the, the whole United States and world that Khrushchev had atomic weapons in Cuba. And Cuba was being run by a New Yorker named Castro. He was born in New York and he was in the American Air Force. And this was a big con. And they tried to say that Russia murdered Kennedy, and this is a, was a big con. Then they switched it to Oswald. And so the FBI, Oswald, let me see if Oswald, I follow this, you. Let me see if I follow this. So the FBI was using Cuba to try to implicate that Russia had killed JFK. Well, who, who brought all the, all the Nazis here after World War II? Hoover and the FBI. Right, and Hoover gave you the Bay of Pigs and that lie. And the, and the FBI directors after them, this is all lies. They brought the Nazis. And putting them in the White House and Senate. Why are all the senators dual citizenship with Israel? You're giving you're giving Turkish rabbis who were Hitler's friends four hundred billion every six months, and all your senators are dual citizenship with Israel. Eight eighty nine percent. Uh, it was about an article about ten years old or so said that eighty nine percent of our congressmen and senators had dual well, that's citizenship. Who, that's who, who who distributes your money, your tax dollars, the Senate. Mm -hmm. So they're giving Hitler's bus buddies from Turkey, who are Jewish rabbis, all your tax dollars. And they've been right. doing this for almost 100 years. Right, right. So well, like, saying you can't touch us because the Nazis killed, you know, all of it, but they're lying about who they really are running it. Well, why aren't they helping Putin if they hate Nazis? There you go. That's right. You know, why 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 don't they back mm -hmm. it's because they're Nazis and all of America's been conned yeah and Putin's the only and guy I'm on the, the world guy. stage he's I'm the, the only guy. one here he's the only one on the world stage saying I'm fighting Nazis and I'm fighting the international news and he says well if america wants to be gays let them be gays yeah and that's exactly what's going on right and, and that who, day before was, that he invaded the ukraine he said who was, who, 
the guy that murdered my twin and raped me. But get this, the day before. At four, at four years old. Yes, yes. The day before that and Putin invaded Ukraine. Gay? Hugh. Was Anderson a gay? Y yeah, yeah. Was Hoover was gay with Anderson. What was his name? Tolson? Tolson. Like, yeah, T. Olson, oh, Terry Olson, your wife. Terry Olson, my wife. Right. Right. And she was murdered on the Manning Ranch. And all of this fits together. On your birthday. Now, well, listen, the, the day July before. 4th. She was uh, murdered July 4th. All of this yes. fits together perfectly. It does perfectly. But I'm trying to say something here. The, the day before uh, uh, Putin invaded Ukraine, he wrote, uh, gave a speech, and I, I've got the English version of it on the computer here somewhere. He said, I'm fighting Nazis and the people whose lives are contrary to nature. Obviously, meaning the homosexuals. Right. He can't make it more plain. But you have all the concerns. His ally. And now America is turning on Russia. And it's all because of Hoover, who had a gay boyfriend who was a Nazi. And all of them are buying it. This whole country is the buying it. The whole country it. buys this. Yeah. Because I'm the truth of Kennedy, truth of 9-11, truth of McVeigh, truth of Hoffa. They had to hide me. Mm -hmm. And the senators hid me, and the senators murdered my wives. They hired hitmen out to murder my wives. That's why nobody's in jail. My whole right. family has been murdered five times. Yep, yeah. Five times on holidays. Mm -hmm. Dismembered and murdered. And they call dismembered bodies natural causes. Missing, missing legs, missing ears, raped, teeth kicked out, called it natural causes. You got this picture, Greg? And they have I done did. this for five generations of my family. And it would be better to, to change people's loyalty from we got to defend Israel and Ukraine to say we need to defend the foundation of America and defend your right. story and go but and they, help they, America. Now, now, now the Republicans want to get rid of the Constitution and Bill of Rights and George Bush already got rid of parts of the Bill of Rights with the Patriot Act. And he's a Nazi. Yeah. He was making Hitler's uniform in Greenville, Tennessee, and his parachutes and selling him cyanide he makes for the U.S. Mints, where Donald Trump lives. That's where they make it. Yeah. Make it for the U.S. Mint. When, when, you, when, when you zinc plate a coin at the U.S. Mint, they dip it in cyanide to clean it, and then they dip it in zinc. Yeah, it comes from uh, like uh, peach or bits whatever. or something. Yeah. It. it cleans it. Yeah. Yeah, they make that out of peach pits. I think, George don't Bush, they? his family has made that. So anybody in the world that has cyanide, mm -hmm. they got it from George Bush. They got it, yeah. And that's why he created this homeland security, which, that took good away gosh, if that doesn't. That took away all our rights. But doesn't that, that just screen you know, German? But your computer was stolen right in front of my house. There's no police record. Your thumb drives were stolen out of your house. There's no police record. The police and FBI and CIA can walk into your house anytime they want and pretend they're criminals and they don't have to report it. Unreal. And George Bush did that. And that's so against your constitution, it's unbelievable. And that's what he calls and Homeland Security and Patriot Act, yeah. As they stole my trademark, $3 trillion, in federal licenses, contracts. He limited how much money you and I can take out of our bank. Do you know what a criminal that guy is? It's unbelievable what they've done to us. And then, I mean, but don't you think like the name Homeland, doesn't that just, isn't that what Hitler used to say? The Homeland is Germany and all this. Uh, yeah, that was his speeches. And he joined the Nazi party while he was in jail. He came yeah. out of jail a Nazi. Yeah, yeah. right in mind calm. He became the Fuhrer of Germany. And and his goal was to restore the Pope across Europe. That was his goal. 
Uh, that's the very goal Donald Trump and his Republicans have. Hitler's goal of restoring the communist Pope in place of the U.S. Constitution and Bill of Rights. And my family wrote that Bible. King James is my cousin via Admiral Byrd. And there's no lie in this. That's why they love Billy Graham, Graham's family and Senator Graham there. Billy Graham was a pedophile. Yeah, but my point there Graham is family, that. The Graham family that owns the media, the radio, and, and TV in Detroit, they're pedophiles. They help pedophiles hide the Oakland County child killing with Al Brooks Patterson. So Al Brooks Patterson, and he's my family member, Mrs. Brooks was my aunt. Mm -hmm. He murdered his own uh, sister's kid in his jail cell. Ted o Oglesby was Mrs. Brooks' son. He went to school with me. I told him about L. Brooks Patterson protecting Osborne when they murdered my twin. He went to his uncle and he asked him why he did that. And he murdered him that night. Hung him in his belt like they hung Jeffrey Epstein in an Oakland County jail cell. Mm -hmm. He was 17 years old. And he was my friend. I yep. went to school with him for 10 years. And I, father, Hugh, I've got Hugh, I've got somebody at the door. I'm gonna have to cut this short. I'm getting phone calls and somebody's banging on the door, so I know something's going on. So I'm gonna have to cut this short. I hate okay, to do it, but... it. We can end it here. We've said enough. Okay. I'll I will send you the video, put it up where you want. Bye. Okay. Bye.